Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into Voice Notes AI and uh, this is a Voice Note application and it is uh, one of the ones I'm actually using regularly. I have the lifetime plan of this but I haven't been using it as much lately as you can see here. Uh, I took a lot of notes when I first got it. I still take a lot of voice notes from time to time, but not as consistently as when I first got the application. But it has gotten a lot better. It has uh, a few new features, actually a lot of new features that I do like. And in today's video, we are going to go over some of the features as well as some of the bugs because there are still bugs inside of the web version. I haven't experienced as many or actually I haven't experienced any in the mobile application and I've only experienced one major issue with the uh, Apple Watch. So let's take the Apple Watch first. I took this note uh, on the Apple Watch and it struggled to actually upload it. So I had to re-upload it several times and when I did that it actually uh, showed me when I logged onto the computer that the note had actually been uh, uploaded several times. So every time I hit re-upload it said that it failed but it did actually not fail. So I've gone ahead and I've deleted them now but they actually uh, duplicated or more than duplicated um, once. Uh, they duplicated several times uh, because I had to re-upload them several times. So that was the first like major issue I've had uh, and the only one I've had with the Apple Watch application on the phone. I haven't had any issues and I'm using an iPhone just for reference. Uh, on the web version there has been a few. So one of them is that when I uh, ask it a question, so let's say I want to make, uh, I wanted to make an outline, make an out line for a blog post about uh, Apple Glow Time and I press enter and it is actually working now but the last time I tried it it would just not work at all it would just close down this window right here uh, and uh, I had to open it back up and do the writing one more time but as you can see, it does a good job at this. And it also shows me, it is supposed to show me the note it is using as well. So it is working now, but I have had uh, a couple of issues uh, with, with this uh, when I have uh, tried it previously. Uh, and the issue has actually mainly been today. So here you can see the notes that it is actually using. So that's basically it for, uh, or actually there is one more bug. So when I went to record a note and I did so a couple of times, it has a feature where you can add like names that are difficult to understand or difficult to spell. In many cases that will be names that um, the AI uh, struggles with. So my name, uh, at least my first name is easy, but my second and last name would probably be something I would put into there for the AI to understand that more easily. And I have tried that with a friend of mine, but now uh, what's happened is that every time I take a really short note, it just transcribe it, uh, transcribes it as that person's name. So I will go ahead and I will show it to you a little later, but here you can actually see uh, that uh, how the application works. I take a voice note, I press done, it um, uploads it, then it transcribes it and it takes a moment or two for it to transcribe and it will take longer depending on uh, depending on uh, how uh, long uh, the note is. Here you can see that it does the thing with the name. Um, so uh, it uh, it struggles a bit to uh, understand what I say and it just turns it into a name. Uh, so 
It is a little weird. I can show it to you one more time. This happened actually when I tried to add a sub note like this. So whenever I try to add a sub note, this often happens that the name turns into Kasim, uh, which is a friend of mine or my previous business partner. Uh, and if I press done here, let me just go ahead and close this. It will transcribe it. And uh, the last time I tried that, it just didn't work so that's some of the issues it is better now um but what would happen is that it will just it would just turn the whole note into Kasim. so uh that is just some of the bugs i have been experiencing lately now uh into the actual uh application so i showed you how a voice note works you can just take a note and you can nest a note underneath another note that is really cool that allows for some like organization but you also have tags uh, as well uh, i also showed you uh, how you can use the ai chat to actually um, help you try uh, to help you come up with an idea but I can also, let me just go ahead and close this, press create and actually summarize this. May give me the main points, make it into a to-do list, a tweet, an email or a blog post if I wanted to. I have never actually used it for that because I don't like AI writing for me. I have no issues with AI fixing my writing, but I, I feel like it doesn't do as good of a job when I ask it to write something for me so as i showed you earlier i use it to get an outline uh, but apart from that we have had some user interface changes so uh, before you can see your tags right here uh, in a left sidebar now we have the tags here when you press the search and i can just press my resources and you can also now add images to this so i have added one right here and you do that just by pressing attach and uh, you can attach a photo or a link and if i just open this up you can see that it says uh, bluetooth 5.1 or actually yeah let's do bluetooth 5.1 or let's do the age one chip so it says the age one chip right here if i now go in here and i search for h1 uh, it will show me this, but this has H1 in the title, but I can also do Hey Siri. And this doesn't say anything about Siri, but if I open this up, it is because it can search in the images here as well. So just to show you that one more time, I can do MagSafe. Doesn't say anything about MagSafe but it does in the image. So images are actually searchable here. Another uh, example, just to prove it one more time. Uh, can do pro uh, actually, let's do sensor again. Uh, force sensor. So it does an amazing job at uh, searching through your images, which is huge for a lot of people. Uh, so that is probably the coolest feature they have added lately. I love uh, the search on this. And I feel like search is really important in an application like this because you have the ability to like nest notes and tag them as well. But I have still found it really hard to find uh, exactly what I'm looking for, especially when I have so many notes as I have. Uh, I've taken a lot of notes and as you take more and more notes, the search gets more and more cluttered up and it becomes harder to find things. That's why I like the Ask AI, but I also love uh, the search and especially the search for images. I feel like the search here is really, really powerful. And that's basically all I have uh, in today's video. I wanted to show you uh, the bugs because that is really important when you are paying for an application. And this application will set you back either $10 each month or they still have uh, what they call the launch offer, which is the Believer plan, which will cost you $50. That's the plan I actually paid for when I first started 
at least that's the two plans they show on their website when you first log in and overall i feel like for especially for the lifetime plan this is a, it's a great deal but also for ten dollars each month i feel like the pricing is quite good but if you were to pay uh, ten dollars each month there are other options out there as well but when it comes to the believer plan uh, and the deal you get on that there isn't a better option out there uh, and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video